a crack, lads. Might the right place, yeah. In here. No bother. Thanks a million. Sorry I'm late. I'm look a couple of minutes late. Couldn't find my keyboard. Had to bring it. No choice. Thanks, lads. I think I'm gonna play Wonderwall. You ready? Today is gonna be the day on the <laughs> Nah seriously lads. Catch me at a session, I'll play Wonderwall all night. So anyway, let's get into it. What's my biggest fear? Fears that I have. This L19 crack doesn't fake off. You know what I mean? Another fear that I have, the Wi-Fi is gone. More than an hour? Gonzo. Not worth it anyway. What am I even doing here? Jesus Christ. I suppose they're my biggest fears, that the L19 doesn't go and I can't have the crack. A few, a few sips with the boys, man. Sippies. A few points with the lads, a few IPAs, you know what I mean? Craft beer, love it, man. It's, it's top class. Security, what am I gonna do for security? Saying if I have to get locked in the house, you know? Blackout blinds, close them across. The man, the Garda, wouldn't know that I'm even at home. Do you know what I mean? Close out the old blackout blinds, put on a pair of headphones, turn on a few videos on my phone, you know what I mean? Turn lights out. House to be in darkness, no one would even bother calling. Food, what am I gonna do? What do you mean preparations? What do you mean by that? What does he mean by that, preparations? Like food, like, yeah, yeah. I brought all my preparations with me. Have them, have them with me in my pocket. Here, hold on. A few dairy milk buttons. Fudge bar, important. Most importantly, lads, if I have to hack into this, it's the end of days, the double decker. And that's it. Do you know what? I have a can of 7-Up at home in the fridge as well. Not bringing that out of the fridge for this, are you for real? Jesus, wouldn't be having me cowled. That's me preparations for food. Survival, as in like, how long am I gonna survive off that stuff? Till the bitter end, man, you know? I've got a few bars there, it's high protein stuff. A can of 7-Up, you know? I won't drink the tap water, there's not a hope I'm drinking the tap water. No way, it has to be boiled first. So tap water, if it was boiled, cooled, then filtered, I drink it away, you know, every now and again. A few beer skis as well wouldn't go astray, you know what I mean? But that's all the preparations that I've made. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, nine out of 10 ain't bad at all, at all. Supposed to get it up to the 10, I could add another can of seven up or something, you know? See me through the winter, no problem at all, lads. Getting out Wi-Fi range extender so I can go down to the far end of the house and still have Wi-Fi on me phone. Limitless, the amount of time I can survive, lads. Limitless, all right. Thanks for, thanks for having me on the show, I suppose, and uh, I'll be going back to Dublin now. Breaking the old borders, you know what I'm saying? What happened to lights? Can we get lights turned back on, please? What's happened? Everyone in the ground, get down on the ground right now, get on the ground! Would you take off the mask for us? I'll take off the mask, yeah, if you uh, blur my face when I do. Yeah, we'll blur it in post. All right, okay, so. So where did you, you better blur it now or else I'm gonna be, don't need people knowing who I am, you know? Uh, all right, yeah, it's, I know. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Right, so let's get started. Sorry about earlier on, lads. Look, sorry to the whole lot of you. I didn't mean to zip tie the whole lot of you. I just had to search you and make sure that you weren't, you know, it wasn't some kind of a trap. I'm not paranoid or anything. Yeah, all right, look, a few beers later on, I'll drop them off to you. A few MREs, it'll be grand, all right. Sorry about it. I didn't mean to hog tie every single one of you. Just the way it is. Let's get on with the show, boys. All right, what's the first question? Fear. What fear do I have? Fear of everything, really, you know, um, some kind of super megaplex virus that uh, creates zombies. We're, that's what we're preparing for. Um, you know, I just think that these things can infect people and then they rise from the dead and then they, they just have this urgency for brains. They're like, damn it, I'd love some brains right now. You know, so that's what we're preparing for. For security. Security, I think I'm gonna score top marks because uh, we've actually got our own private island. I, I travel only in armored vehicles and there's always a helicopter on standby. 
uh, to bring me to this private island that's only accessible by air or boat and uh, it's protected by special forces. There's uh, 30 special forces staff on the island at all times, fully armed, ready to go. They have mortars, they have rocket launchers. You know, these, these boys are kitted, right? We have enough food to last us for 35 years and that's without adding. We have our own animals and farm and everything. We're producing our own food. We have a water treatment system. We have a small hospital with a doctor and a surgeon on standby at all times. So we're pretty prepared, right? We have a lot of fuel for the helicopter and boats. We have enough ammunition to fight the Third World War. You know, I think security-wise, we're good. Food, yeah, okay. So we have fully sustainable food. Um, we have our own cows and uh, pigs. We grow our own crops in special environments. Huge warehouses for growing crops. The island is fully self-sufficient on water. We have wells for water and uh, all run by solar and wind. We are completely off the grid. We don't rely on any electricity. Um, so yeah, we're, we're very safe. The island is also surrounded by walls. So it's cliff face the whole way around and we've got walls on top of the cliff face. So yeah, there's only one dock and you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta, drive around things to get to it. It's pretty safe, you know. Uh, for survivability, I think that we live in a fortress surrounded by the sea with walls and special forces on standby 24 seven. If worse comes to worse, we can evacuate via helicopter to wherever we need uh, our boat. I think that we should be pretty good. Yep, yeah, I'm happy to hear my uh, Final assessment on what I will get. You're gonna give me a three. You're gonna give me a three. A three, yeah. You said three. Out of out of how many? Out of ten. You're gonna give me a three out of ten. Everybody get back on the ground. Thank <laughs> you.